What's up, guys? Blunt Guts here. This is a Watcher Realms video. So today, we've got some GVG action. Thank you for tuning in my channel. I truly appreciate it. Please do like and subscribe if you do enjoy the content. So I'm coming in here. It's Wednesday night. It's GVG night. Unfortunately, we are down by 32.4% right now. We've got 100 tax remaining. They've only got 52. Even still, I think it's going to be it's going to be tough to come back from this one unfortunately. Let's take a look at my teams to see how they have done so far. So, I did try a new team. Got super excited. I pulled a Racha uh, this past weekend. Apparently, it was a bad idea to put her in there. I think I kind of missed the boat on that one. Uh there were a lot of Racha defenses a month, two months ago that I saw that that were kind of tough. I think people have kind of figured out how to bait these defenses and uh so did not work out so well for your boy. Uh we went 0 3 with that team. With that said, we did go 3 0 with my Torador team. So it is good to see that. Uh, not really sure about the attempts that were made against that team. Not really. I've seen this team get beaten in the past. Let's just say that. And it was not the way that they were going about it. So, uh, in any case, we're going to get into the fights. Hopefully, I can you know, put up some numbers here, help us maybe get back into this thing. Uh, Got to start somewhere, right? We're going to start racking up some wins, hopefully. So let's see how it goes. Let's get into the fights. Okay, guys, we are starting off with a cookie cutter Torador team. You've seen me do this before. We're going to be going in with bugs. We're going to be going in with the exploders here. Uh, I think we're, we'll try to bait initially with some of these flyers. Uh, I don't know if that's going to work all that well, truth be told, as I'm thinking about it. I think maybe we send in one legendary flyer at first to bait so we can get Hatsut's ultimate out. And, uh, and then we will go and follow up with bugs. So that is the plan. Is it going to work? I don't know. I don't know. I've definitely taken out higher BP toward our teams in this. So I think we'll be okay. Let's give it a shot. Wait up until 10, and then we are going to drop one of these legendary flyers in here. We'll bait Hats' as ultimate. When we get back up to 10 cost, we will send in our bugs and put it on two times speed until we get to that point. So we're also going to have to wait for Arrogance's ultimate to go down. There we go. We got the ultimate out. That's good. How much time do we have left on Arrogance's ult? Eight seconds. Like a seven. That'll work. All right. Wait for the bugs to appear. Wait again. Wait again. Okay. Let's see it. I want to see you get in there, bugs. I want to see you get in there, bugs. There we go. That's what we wanted to see. So I think we'll just wait out on the uh, on the, the arrogance ultimate one more time, and then we will go back in with some flyers. That's going to be the plan. We'll lead with the epic flyer, or the legendary flyer, excuse me, to uh, to make sure that uh, we can draw Arrogance's attacks. It should take a while to uh, to go down because it does have higher base stats, so that should be helpful. We'll just keep it on two times speed until we see Arrogance pop his ultimate. When we get down to about 10 seconds, that's going to be our signal to go, so... Twelve seconds, eleven seconds. There we go. That's what we wanted to see. Pop that Lego out there. We'll send in our swarm after this. I think we should be good, but we will just have to wait and see. See, arrogance fire is getting drawn to that. Little guy, and then there we go, and we are in. We're in, baby. We're in. I'm going to run that one one more time, but I will be back for the next fight. All right, guys, so we have got a significantly higher Torador defense here. Similar setup, the difference being that instead of Baron being in in the middle there, it is A-bomb instead, and that does complicate things a little bit because A-bomb has a 25-second ultimate uh, it is an auto-trigger ultimate, so similar to Arrogance, we don't actually have to deploy anything to trigger the ultimate, but with that being said, if he does get it off twice, it is going to be up full time, which means that we need to 
Uh, we need to make sure that we get hot sit down before a bomb has a chance to trigger that twice. I will likely send in one of these big beefy tank guys of the five cost epic tanks. They're on the right hand side of my demon soldiers down here. Reason being, I do want to pop Torador's ultimate so that he's not doing his AOE damage. When I do send in my bugs, that would be uh, that would be bad. Uh, that could potentially wipe us uh, a bad time stun could really screw us over. So what I'm going to do to start with, I'm going to wait till 10 cost. I'm going to send in a uh, one of these beefy tanks. I'm also going to send in one of the uh, the epic flyers, and we're going to trigger Hotsit's ultimate as well. Hopefully, by the time we're back up to 10 cost, A-Bomb's ultimate is over. Torador's ultimate is over. We might have to wait until, well, I guess it doesn't really matter now that I'm thinking about it. I think we're going to be all right. We're going to see how it goes, though. Let's give it a shot. Okay, okay, okay. Now, one thing I want to check on here. Okay, so, oh, well, that's hot set. I can't, there we go. So the reason that I'm clicking on a bomb here is because Abomination has a, an exclusive artifact that gives him initial rage uh, when he's deployed. And that lets him get around to his second ultimate faster. I want to make sure that that wasn't uh, active right now. It doesn't seem to be the case. I do want to make sure that he does pop it while I've got this defender out there. And this de this defender has 22k defense, but you got to remember, Torador is going to be de decreasing that by, uh, I think, 20%. And actually, while the fire is out there, Hotset is going to be decreasing that defense as well by 30% <laughs> because he's going to be able to bounce off of the legendary flyer. So uh, maybe what we do, I think we send in the defender first, but we might wait a second and just... Just try to time this out a little bit because we don't want to, we want to make sure that, that that we have enough time to send in bugs when Abom's ultimate is down and we're, he, he's still got a long way to go to regen that, that rage. So let's see, what do we got here? He's only at, at 400 cost. I think if we can, or at 300, excuse me. So I think if we can get that up to, let's say 400, maybe 450, I think that'll be a good time to send in my tank. I think I'm going to do it right about now. I'm also going to send in the flyer. Let's see, where is Arrogance's ultimate? See, that's not ideal. I hope I have enough time to get that back up before. Has A-Bomb popped his yet? Really wish it wasn't so hard to click on him. There you go. His is up. Hotz's ultimate has not been popped yet, but it's about to be popped. There it is. Where's Arrogance's? Got 11 seconds on that. See, the timing is not great on this. We're going to be in a rough spot, and I'm afraid that Arrogance is going to pop our bugs when we send them in. Uh, not, not great timing for, for me. He's still got 10 seconds left. Really wish it was easier to click on you. There we go. Yeah, not great timing. Not great timing. I think we might we might get in trouble here, but I also don't know that we have enough time to go about this any other way. So I, I think we may need to just risk it. Uh, I, I think that's what's going to end up happening here. He bomb's got six seconds left. Arrogance is most definitely going to get that up before our bugs get there. And that's not great. That is not great at all. Uh, how much time do we have left on here? 145. Yeah, we're cutting it real close here because I don't really want to wait another 20 seconds to have to deploy the bugs. So I think I'm going to have to do that now. And we're going to have to hope and pray that they can get past arrogance. And uh, and I think ultimately it may come down to whether or not Torador gets a stun off is, is really what it might come down to. So let's let's click on. Let's let's drop our oop. Don't want to fuck that up. Drop this bad boy. We're going to drop bugs. Bugs. And let's see if arrogance can take down our bugs before they get in there. And the answer is yes. Yes, he can. So uh, we, we're kind of screwed right now, unfortunately. Uh, we can send in another one of these guys. It's not really going to help us, unfortunately. 
And we can try to get up to 10 costs and maybe we can hope that the Legendary Fire can tank them. That's really the only thing that I can think of to try at this point. So we got to get back up to 10 cost. We can do one last ditch effort. We're going to have to wait for Arrogance to pop his ultimate one more time. Is he up? It is up. Okay. I think we're going to have to do this now because we're going to run out of time otherwise. So we're going to wait until he gets up a little ways. And then we're going to drop double flyers. We're going to see if this works. I don't have a lot of hope for it, unfortunately. But uh, maybe we can get lucky. You never know. But, uh, you know, when you know, you know. And uh, and I know. So, <laughs> well, shit, man. All right. Uh, my timing on that could have been better. This is a rough one. This is a rough one. You know, Abomination, when he does do his ultimate, if you don't know, he does do uh, an AoE for two tiles in front of him. I have tried to send bugs in against that, that before, and it does not work out well. So, I... Uh, you know, we gave it a shot. Gave it a good effort. Doesn't count at the end of the day, but uh, but the loss, loss certainly does count. The effort doesn't count. Uh, anyways, I will be back with the next one. All right, guys. So here is the plan. We're going to try and use exploders. I would love to use something else against a team like this, but unfortunately, uh, the BP on all of these teams is just kind of ridiculous. Uh, it... it it's kind of insane. Double tank team that has 460k BP is just redonkulous. I don't really know what to do about that, but uh, you know, it is what it is. I guess part of it is there are uh, half of the team is getting boosted by by Hars, and so they are getting some extra BP that way. However, it is just it is just rough. Uh, it is really really rough right now. So uh, I I just spent about 20 minutes trying to find a team that I even wanted to attack, and uh, I'm going with this wonky strategy to see if I might be able to make something work. So generally what the plan is going to be is I will send in the uh, one of the Pharaoh Guards at 10 costs. We're going to wait till we get back up to 10 again. Send a second one in. We're going to wait up until we have 10 costs again. Hopefully th those two will still be alive. I think that they will be because uh, the only physical DPS on the team is Hatsut. Hatsut's not going to be able to use his ultimate while those Pharaoh Guards are being tanked by Brokir. After that, when we get back up to 10 costs and hopefully Valkyra's ultimate will be down, we will send in two of these uh, rare tanks on the right-hand side, and then we'll follow up with two sets of these uh, of these Exploder Bugs. Hopefully they'll go through, they'll pop Elwin, and then we can go in with our legendary uh, Mages, the Bookkeepers, as well as the uh, these, these legendary Flyers as well. And hopefully with a combination of those two, we should be able to take out the rest of the team now that they don't have any healer. Uh, that's the plan. It might be kind of a stretch. We're going to see if it works out. I... Uh, Hatsut is not going to be a huge factor in this, hopefully, because by the time that we get to Hatsut, hopefully everybody else is going to be dead. Uh, that That is the hope, anyway. But uh, we will see if we need to bait another time, we can use the second set of the rare tanks. So anyway, that's a lot of setup. Let's see if it works. Let's give it a go. All right, wait until we get to nine cost, turn to one time speed. Okay. Every second counts. And turn it back to two times speed. And we're going to see if these Pharaoh Guards can last long enough for me to execute my plan. I'm hoping that they can. Oop. 10 cost again. Drop another one down. We're going to just check on Valkyra's ultimate. It's got nine seconds. Excellent, excellent, excellent. We can drop these two guys. We need to give them a little bit of time so that the bugs don't outpace them. And we're going to click on one, two. And let's, uh, let's hope and pray. Valkyra's ultimate should be down. She's not going to get it back up. Before the bugs come in, there they go through. They killed Elowen. That's what we wanted to happen. Very, very nice. I like it a lot. Let's get back up to 10 cost, and then we will wait for Valkyra to finish her ultimate, and then we're going to send in Bookkeepers. Bookkeepers. 
those Pharaoh guards are just ridiculous against magic damage. And as you can see, Hatsut's teeth are kind of just, just blunted by the fact that she can't use her ultimate. That is her big weapon. Uh, she does okay damage otherwise, don't get me wrong, but she is not, uh, she is not all that if she can't use her ultimate. That is really where her strength comes in. And uh, hopefully, if we are lucky, we will be able to kill her before we get anything else in. So let's see. Let's see how this works. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna test Har's uh, Har's abilities here. Uh, it, how how much can he keep up with this? I, I I don't know. As you can see, they are taking pretty heavy damage. Are they gonna do it? Up oh, and then Valk came in. That's not great. Uh, okay. Pharaoh guards still going strong. <laughs> kind of fucking ridiculous when you think about it. Um, I think we're probably boned here, unfortunately. I think we can probably still get 20, assuming we have enough time. We're going to wait for, we're going to have to time Valkyrie resolve. It's a, it's a, it is an A, uh, our fully skilled up Valk, obviously based on the BP. We're, we're going to be cutting this damn close. I think we're going to have to go at 20 seconds and then just, just hope we can get something in here. As I'm saying that, I think I may have gone a little bit earlier. Yeah, but I I, I just I kind of think we have to, unfortunately. It, it kind of is what it is. Uh, and we're going to have to hope that Hotsit's ultimate isn't going to be enough to take out the flyers, um, which you know, as I'm looking at this, I'm not sure that it will be. But, you know. Yeah, we lost time. We ran out of time, so I needed to play him sooner. Uh, well, we took out Elowen, so, uh, you know, hey, there is that. But, uh, yeah, fuck, guys. These teams are rough. So we are 2-2. Two and two. Go see if I can find somebody else to attack. I will be right back. All right, guys, we are going to attempt to fly over this defense. So I am copying an attack that my guildmate Matanya did earlier. We're going to start off with some pharaohs, as you might have guessed, kind of similar to the last fight that I just did. The pharaoh is hopefully going to be able to stay up really uh, almost as long as needed. Uh, they are just incredibly tanky against magic damage. And as I was saying before, Hatsa doesn't really do all that much unless Hatsa gets to use her ultimate. That That is that is when things get really, really tricky. So uh, the idea, we are going to trigger Valk's ultimate with the pharaoh guards. Then once Valk's gets down to, uh, let's say, about five seconds or so, we are going to deploy uh, one set of these rare flyers. We're gonna give it uh, half a beat, let them get a little, gain a little ground, and then we're gonna send two of the legendary flyers in there. Uh, we're gonna then have to wait out Valk's, Valk's ultimate one more time. We are then gonna send in, uh, probably at that point, we'll probably be able to send in a Pharaoh guard, another Pharaoh guard, because the first one may almost be dead. After that, we'll bait again with the rare flyers uh, to get Hatz's ultimate out, and we'll follow up with these leg uh, epic flyers at the end. And hopefully, hopefully, they will get through. That is the plan. Uh, I don't know, there's a lot of timing involved in this. We're going to see how it goes. Uh, these teams are all ridiculous. Uh, this team, uh, this team, this this guild that we're facing, Blood Envoy, has very clearly outspent us. So uh, we're, we're going to do what we can. But uh, yeah, hey, it, it, these are these are rough matchups. So uh, let's let's give it a go. Let's see how it how it goes. I think what we're going to end up doing actually is just sending in one of these immediately. And the reason being that timing is going to be tight. We've got a lot to do here. So uh, I just want to get this started as quickly as possible. Um, we're going to have plenty of time. We have to wait 25 seconds for Valk's ultimate to get off or, or to get to get down close enough so we can deploy the uh, the flyers. So we don't want to waste any time here. Uh, we're just going to let things go. And as you can see, Valk's ultimate is already going. We got a little bit of time here. I'm going to speed up to two times. Don't want to wait too long here. Seven seconds. I think five seconds is going to be our, our mark. That's when we're going to send the rare flyers in. Okay. Let's see if I can time this correctly. Three, two, one. And they are out of range. So good. That is perfect. Oh my God, what am I doing? Now we just need these flyers to get close enough to pop the ultimate. There we go. That's what we needed. And we just need to get in before uh, Val can, can use her ultimate again and then and then kill them. That's that's the that's what we need. There's one, two. Okay, good. 
That was what we wanted to happen. This another Ferroguard in here because we've got to wait out Valk's ultimate again. That timing was good though, so we will go again at five seconds. Nine seconds, I'm going to put on one time speed so I don't make a mistake. Six seconds. Four seconds, it's a little bit longer than we wanted to wait, truth be told. We're gonna give them just a little bit of time to get forward. I'd like it to click up one more time here. One more cost, please, thank you. That's what I wanted. Send these guys in. How's Valus Ultimate looking? We got some time, but it is gonna be close. One more cost, please, one more cost. That's what we wanted, okay. Let's see, can we get Hatsa's Ultimate out? We did, and we just need one of them to get through. Just one to get through, there we go, baby. That's what we were looking for. All right, nice Strat Mitania. That was a little close, uh, a little stressful, <laughs> if you couldn't tell but uh, I'm glad that we got it down. So uh, I'm going to do that one more time. This has kind of increasingly become clear that this is definitely going to be a loss, so I am no longer really worried about spreading my attacks out or anything like that for, uh, you know, teammates that have not gone yet. But we're going to do this one more time, come back, and we'll do one final fight. Hopefully one final fight, maybe two final fights if we lose. So anyway, I'll be right back. All right, guys, so we are going to give a center keep a go. I never have much success against these, probably because I don't attack them very much. Uh, I should probably put in some practice time, but my time has been rather limited lately, so I haven't been able to do that. Uh, yeah, I, I, I would be lying if I said I was confident right now. I am copying an attack that my guildmate, American Maid, was successful in. He is level 97, though. I think he has better gear than me. I don't I don't know that for sure, uh, but I think he's, he's rocking higher BP than I am would be my guess. But I, you can't tell that when you're watching the replays. So it's it's hard to say one way or another. Um, generally speaking, the plan is going to be, and I should, should put it on here so we can actually see what the team is. So we're going to be trying to fly over. Uh, Sargak is the, the impediment here. He's the one that we are worried about. So initially what we're going to do is we are going to get to 10 costs. We're going to drop in this uh, rare tank. He's going to go through. He's going to get hit by... AI's ice crystals. Uh, the The whole goal is really just to have Sargak trigger his ultimate. Uh, as soon as we get back up to 10 costs, we are going to drop in uh, some of these rare flyers followed by an, a legendary flyer. And then we're going to drop in epic flyers kind of trailing them. The hope is that uh, one or two of these epic flyers does get through and can take out Sargak and, and, you know, I guess Ardea as well at the same time. But we're not really all that concerned about that. We're just worried about Sargak. Uh, if we get him down, then we can just fly over the rest. So that is the plan. As you can see, we've got a healthy 522,000 battle power, uh, which is, uh, is is pretty respectable. But uh, you can also see that the, the enemy team battle power is 490,000. So... <laughs> More or less an even fight uh, based on that. Uh, but typically my experience is, especially when you have some of these meta heroes, that you really need to far exceed the battle power in order for it to be uh, really tilted in your favor. Uh, and it often does just come down more to strategy and uh, and your, 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 your gamesmanship than anything else. So I don't know. We're going to see how it goes. Uh, hopefully we get the win here. But uh, like I said before, I'm not super confident. We're going to see what we can do. Uh, at the very least, we get some experience tackling a a central keep uh that 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 is something that i need to do more of and this is kind of a lost battle at this point so there we go we're at 10 cost we're just hoping we can get sargax ultimate up it is ready to go so if they can get in there that uh that will be good there we go i think we triggered that ultimate right so we're just going to wait until he gets down to zero and then we will be sending in some some flyers here that is, that is the plan. Let's see, have I waited too long? No, but we are good to go. So we're gonna do that, drop these there. As soon as they get slightly past the last tile, they turn the corner, we will drop the legendary one here. There we go. And then we'll drop these ones right afterwards. So, uh, hope and a prayer. We just need them to continue attacking the legendary one. Keep going, keep going. 
Oh, and they made it through, baby. Yeah, that's what we wanted to see. That is what we wanted to see. There goes Ardea. Let's one-shot that Sargak a little bit there. No, you didn't. There we go. Oh, God, I thought they were going to fly past him for a second. Holy shit. I'm getting too excited here. I, I, I can just fly over the rest of it, but I got to be mindful of time, right? So let's uh, let's make sure we don't get beaten by, uh, by the timer. That would be fucking embarrassing, right? So keep on going, flyers. No need to stop and shoot. You don't need to do any of that. Let's just uh, let's just make it to that soul crystal, please. Jeez, oh man, I I I got so excited that I killed Sargak that I forgot about deploying the second round. Holy shit! Okay, well, uh, love it, love it, love it, love it. Let's uh, let's see if we can't do the same thing again. Uh, but that is going to do it for the video right now. So I do want to thank everybody for watching. Uh, Really appreciate you you tuning in week after week. Let me know if there's anything that you want to see more of in the comments. I'd love to hear hear you know back from uh, from from what you guys would like to see. Ultimately, uh, I do this because it's fun for me, but I'd also like to be doing content that you're interested in. So if there's anything that you want to see Guild Wars related, uh, other any other aspect of the game that you'd like to see, please let me know. Always looking for video ideas. Uh, thanks so much, guys. Good luck on your own attacks. Have a great night.